bring the ball up and down the fingers. And to the palm and the pads of the pinky. And the thumb. And across the knuckles. And let's keep the ball in the palms, interlace the fingers and squeeze. And release and squeeze. And release and squeeze. And release. And today we'll bounce or throw it in the air if you've got somebody below you. Hands, switching up speeds, catching, dribbling, and three, two, one. Leave it on the floor. Assess the feet. And step on the ball right in the middle of the foot three times. to the knuckles once across. And roll it across. Middle of the foot and wiggle the toes. into the crease and press the toes into the ball. Release and separate the toes. Press again. Middle of the foot and wiggle again. And scribble. Three, two, one, release, reassess, and go to the other foot. Press it down three times. Knuckles. Roll it across. Middle of the foot and wheel. Press the toes. Separate. Press wiggle and scribble. Three, two, one, get the ball out of the way. Reassess how the feet are feeling, and let's do some more chops through the middle. Seven. Eight. 
And then on either side, seven. And come up and shake the tree. center, you breathe in and, and twist it the way swinging the arm. And center with some ocean wave breathing. Fingers and thumb at the base of the spine. Step out, gather in starlight. And center. Same thing in the other direction. And center. We're going to march in place or jog. So today is our seated day. We're going to do the uh, seated core routine and uh, some five threatens in the after class. Anything you want to do here to Get the heart rate going is wide open. I'll sprint today. Whatever you do, be safe. And of course, you can continue to do just what you're doing, whatever it might be. I am going to get sprinting in five. Four. 
Two deep breaths. Interlace the fingers. Raise the hands up. Reach for the sky. Come on back down and bend back if you can. Squeeze in the glutes and coming back to center. Bend in one direction. And then the other. And back to center. Lower your hands, push out of the chest, separate those shoulder blades. And come down. We'll interlace the fingers behind the back and raise the hands up. A little bit higher. Come on out and extend the arms and rotate. A little different, yes, yes. And the other direction. And one palm is down, one palm is up, flip flop. And then bring the arm across the body, press in at the elbow. And then the other. Arm behind the back, press down and in. And the other arm. And grab both elbows and rock back and forth. And then make a W and squeeze those elbows to get uh, shoulder blades together. And release and squeeze and release and squeeze. There's a squirrel in the tree just looking at me right now. Like, what are you doing? And release. And let's shrug. And roll back. And extend the arms with the fingers up and pull back. And down. And flop the wrists and wiggle the fingers or make a fist. Or do both. And then the other hand. Down. Yeah. 
klappt. And rotate the neck. Other direction. Nod. Go in the shoulder. Tuck in the chin and peck like a pigeon. Keep it tucked in and turn to one side. Drop the chin to the collarbone. Then look up. Back to center, look the other way. Drop the chin. Look up. Back to center and let's do a side lunge. Other direction. Let's hinge at the waist. Drop the arms. Stretch the hamstrings. Come up, turn to one side, push back on the heel on the leg in the back. Reverse and push on the other heel. Yeah, let's come up and grab a stick. We're going to do Dr. Lee routine. Put the stick behind the back and twist at the waist. And if you want to slowly bring a step into the routine, you may. And bring the stick up overhead and oscillate over the head. And then below the waist, or at the waist. And then to one side. And then the other. And then do some kayak paddling. Uh, 
and reverse. Bring the stick up to the shoulders, flop the wrists. And then drop the arms. And then lift them up and drop. And then bring it to the chest and reverse the position of the palms and flop the wrists. Bring them down. And up. And then bring a stick behind you again. And we're going to do 10 knee raises, only come up as high as feels safe. And then the same thing with the hip rotation. So only go as high as you're comfortable with. And 10. Bring the stick out in front, right in the middle. Hold on with two hands, one hand or just a finger or two. Come up on your toes and back on your heels, holding for about a second. And we'll do 15 of those. Four. And fourteen and fifteen. Excellent. Let us grab a chair and sit down. And let's start by bringing one ankle up over the other knee, pressing on that knee of the ankle of the leg that's raised and leaning into it, hinging at the waist. Seated figure four, stretch. And come back up and then rotate the ankle in one direction. And then the other. And put that leg down, bring the other leg across right above the knee. Hands on the knee. Press down as you lean into it. And come back up, rotate that ankle in one direction. Uh, 
And then the other. And let's do three cat cows. So you want to round your back, tuck in your chin, arch your back, pulling your chin up, round and tuck. Arch and look up. Round and tuck. Arch and look up. Cross our arms at our chest and lean forward about 45 degrees and come back. We'll do five of these. And then lean back towards the back of the chair and come forward five times. Put your legs out in front and come down towards the toe five times either direction. Come back up and reach up straight and pick, pick the apple, pick the apple. It's that time of season. Actually, it's a little late for that, isn't it? And let's do some jumping jacks. One, let's do seven of these. Two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Now let's raise both knees. One, two, five times. Three, four, five. And then raise one leg and kick out, and then the other and kick out. Four. And five. Sit sideways in the chair, put both hands on the back and Look toward your back, over your back shoulder, twisting your spine slightly. And release. And twist. And release. One more time on this side. Twist. And release. And then we'll go to the other way. Hands on back. Look over the other shoulder. There's a pop and release. Twist. And release. And twist. And release. All right, let's stay seated. We're going to do the four, seven, eight breath. That's a uh, count of four in, hold for seven. Exhale through the mouth for eight. We'll do four rounds starting now.
minus one. Excellent. Let's stand up, get the chair out of the way, and we'll rub those hands together. Cultivating chi and forming a very alive and vibrant chi ball. Which is up to its usual tricks. Then we center and take two deep breaths. Inhale, exhale, and open our hearts. Hold and then spread it out as we exhale. Center, two breaths. And bring down heavenly chi. We're going to go down and gather it up. Um. Namaste. Thank you, Tommaso. Thank you. You're very welcome, sir. Have a great thank day. You, Tom. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Tom. Yes, thank you. Don, thank you, Tom. Care. How? Yes. Hey, how? Good to see you again. Uh, Donald, take care. Yep. Thank you. You too. Okay. And uh, where's my face? There it is. <laughs> Uh, anybody around for five Tibetans? Because I am. Of course. Oh, good. I can see now. Hal looks like a Tibetan already. <laughs> yeah. He looks very much like a Tibetan. Yes. That's what happened when you were in California for a while. Yeah, well, he's muted too, like a Tibetan. You know, he's okay. silent. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um, I gotta switch cameras. There we go. All right. So of course you can twist at the waist and swing the arms, but if you want, we we'll spin eleven times. Or less.
And when you're done, take a couple of breaths. Whoa, a little dizzy. I'm gonna meet you on the floor. Take your time, take your time. On the floor. Oh, that's not the floor camera. There we go. So, okay. hands are either by the side, under the small of the back, or behind the head if you need support at the neck. And you raise the soles of the feet as you come up, head, neck, and shoulders. Only go as high as is comfortable for you. In the unmodified version, the feet come up. Their legs are extended and the feet come up. I'll do six and five, yeah. starting now. Wow. Yes, this one. And then take two breaths. We're gonna get up on our knees. Oh. Oh, Hands on the back of the thighs or the glutes. And you can bend back at the knees and come forward or do a back extension and come forward. If you have neck issues, keep the neck straight. Two. Nine, ten, and two breaths. Okay, sit down. Several ways to do this. The unmodified version, the hands are by the hips with the fingers facing forward and the legs are extended. And you come up into an inverted table. I'm going to do that, but you might want to either keep the soles of the feet on the floor or put the hands behind you with the fingers facing away and come up. Or you can do it the same way with your uh, fingers at your hips. Whatever works best for you, let's do up to 11. One. Nine, ten, 
and 11. Two breaths. And finally, we'll go on all fours. All fours, okay. Come up into a cobra in the modified version. Unmodified down dog into an up dog. I'll do six and five of those. Starting now. And eleven around. Sit down with the legs crossed, however, feels right today. We're going to rotate at the hip six times in one direction, five in the other. You can also bend down if you want. That's one. Six in one direction, five in the other. And then switch the position of legs. Whatever was in front goes behind, or if it was on top, put it on the bottom. We'll do six, a five in the original direction, six in the other, pausing on the last one. Stretch out and do two rounds of box breath. Four seconds in, four seconds hold, four seconds exhale, four seconds hold before you inhale again. In the center, on the left knee, and then the right knee. Ready, one. Five and now six in the other. Half and stretching out and starting the box. No, I end it because I'm finished. <laughs> And moving to the left knee. That's good. Yeah, that's a good plan. But I really want them to talk to you. Maybe we can have a conversation tomorrow about James. And then, yeah. and then the right knee. So really nice. How many years ago? It's a four or five years ago when we first met, you know, start to become friends. But at that moment, there was sort of like a glimmer that he might become the ex that I knew about. 
And coming up. Side now. Hey, all hey, Hal. Very good. Thank well, you, well. Tom. You're very welcome. Thank you. Good to see you. And Hal, how are you? How's California, Hal? You're, you're muted, Hal. You're muted again. Uh, California is lovely, except 